75 yards on the ground by junior running back DeAndre Washington, which pushed him past the 1,000 mark for the first time in Texas Tech program history since 1998. The Red Raiders held on for the victory in Ames 34 to 31 over the Cyclones. It definitely feels good, more so for the old line. I mean, cause it was it was such a big deal. You know? I mean, they came to me, I think about week six. Yeah, we're gonna get that out. You know, just, just taking one game at a time. So, it's, it, I mean, it feels good, but I mean, definitely just for those, get it for those guys. We knew we had a chance to hit that mark, and he got it going early uh, with that big run and, and the screen. Uh, incredible effort the entire year from him. I mean, that's why you play D1 football, especially going on the road against you know Big 12 teams. I mean. Every Big 12 environment I've been to has always been exciting. And Iowa State, I mean, they're second to none. I mean, like, we knew it was going to be a good game going back and forth. And like I said, it was fun. We knew it was going to be a battle. And we knew it was going to come down who had the ball last. Patrick, yeah, he really grown at practice. You know, he's been showing up, showing up, and showing out at practice. I mean, at practice, he's been uh, taking over. It's like he's becoming a leader, even though he's young. He's stepping up to the plate. He's got a lot of uh, competitive spirit. You know, he, he always thinks he's going to win. He thinks he's the best player every time he goes out there. And, you know, the one interception was a bad call by me throwing that out. And then once again, when we fumbled, bad play call, got a little greedy on that, that screen and go. So I thought he protected it well. He extended a bunch of plays and, and just very proud of the way he carried himself. You know, we, uh, we've just been preaching fight and finish and, you know, be resilient, you know, have something to fight for and finish out sending scenes on a good way. I mean, this is a good step, getting one of the two wins that we have left. We haven't done it all year. Uh, you know, second half the entire season, we've been very poor. I don't know what we've been outscored exactly. I haven't wanted to look at it, but it's been bad. And so to hang around um, and, and just get it done, uh, just proud of that group. Texas Tech will now prepare for the season finale next weekend in Arlington at Cowboys Stadium as the Red Raiders will face off with the Baylor Bears at 2.30 p.m. For Texas Tech TV, I'm Courtney Davis.